cooking oil, food waste, even your old clothing. It could all be used to fly a plane and combat climate change. Sustainable aviation fuels, or SAFs, are fuels made from renewable energy sources and could potentially cut carbon emissions from aviation by up to 80%. The EU has made some ambitious proposals for aviation as part of its Green Deal. From 2025, planes taking off from EU airports would have to use a blend of at least 2% sustainable aviation fuel, rising to 5% in 2030 and 63% by 2050. The problem is, right now, SAF only accounts for 0.1% of the aviation fuel market. Energy giant Shell is hoping to change that. It plans to start producing around 2 million tonnes of SAF a year by 2025. It's collaborating with British plane engine maker Rolls-Royce. They're pushing for jets to fill up on 100% SAF. For now, regulators limit planes to a 50% blend with conventional jet fuel. By 2025, Shell alone will produce 10 times more than what all the different producers are producing today. Uh, is that enough? No, it won't be enough. Is it policymakers? Is it regulators? What needs to happen to get more SAF being made and more airlines using it? It's mostly about market conditions. You know, so right now, fossil fuel is pretty cheap. Um, and without any intervention by government, airlines quite rightly will carry on using the cheapest source of fuel, which is fossil-based fuel. SAFs right now are not as cheap as fossil fuels. In fact, right now they're quite expensive. And so we have to have some uh, regulation intervention in order to encourage the ramp up of SAFs. Market forces are not going to be enough here. Market forces are not going to be enough. In Belgium, ArcelorMittal is teaming up with Lanzatech to convert waste from its steel mills into ethanol. It's building a high-tech plant using a different technology that has potential to increase SAF production. It's what we're doing here at this plant, it's carbon recycling. So the carbon has had a primary use in the steel mill and with this facility here, we can ferment the carbon into a secondary use. This process is unique. We use gases into alcohol. So it's still a fermentation, but it's a biocatalyst that does this. It's not a yeast, it's a bacteria. And the bacteria can consume carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide and hydrogen gases and convert these into ethanol. Three years in the making, the plant is financially backed by European and state authorities. It's due to be operational from 2022 and promises to deliver 64,000 tonnes of ethanol a year. That could be used for many sectors from fragrances and detergents to sustainable aviation fuels. We used to be steel makers, we make steel and now we are producing ethanol using the technology of Lanzatec and there you can find a lot of synergies. Eh? The waste of one industry is a feedstock of the other. All sectors have to look into this and they have to collaborate to let's say one and one is three and not one and one is two in that case. Eh? You can gain a lot with these synergies. Powering up the green energy transition and tackling aviation pollution. It's a team effort for European business leaders.